Hi, my name is Hui Wang. I'm a cloud researcher from the University of Arizona. Today, I'm here to get you to manually convert your data script. While our corpus test processor and other similar programs will automatically convert files to text, it will not retain references to any multimedia. In addition, some files don't store text in a readable format, which will create problems with our processor and other automatic conversion programs. If your data has links to websites, images, or other multimedia that you would like to keep for reference, you may need to manually convert them into text format. Manual conversion will help us include manual annotations of this multimedia in the text. You may also need to take extra steps if your data is stored as an image. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use programs to help you manually convert your data. The first method is to use optical character recognition, OCR, to convert text in image format. The second method is to use plain text applications on your computer to convert data and annotate multimedia. OCR can be used when some files don't store text in a machine-readable format, but rather as an image. Here is an example of an infographic where all the information is in the picture. When we try to process this with an automatic text conversion program like the Corpus Text Processor, the text does not show up because it is in an image format. In this case, we need to convert image to a machine-readable format just like the screenshot on the right. One way to do this is to use an OCR program, like the one built into Adobe Acrobat. In our wiki, we also provide a script that you can run on your own if you do not have access to Adobe Acrobat. However, OCR works better for something more text-based. If your data is more picture-based or the words in your data are not machine-readable, you may need to type more words in. If we are using the OCR program in Adobe Acrobat, first, we need to convert the image into PDF. If you are using a PC, you can open the image and select the print icon. In the print drop-down menu, save it as a PDF file. If you are using a Mac, you need to open the image in preview, then click the file and export as PDF. After you have converted your image to PDF, you can convert them using Adobe Acrobat. Some institutions provide free Adobe Acrobat for downloading. You can go to your institution's website for more information on how to get access to Adobe Acrobat. Next, open your PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Go to Scan and OCR, select Recognize Text, then go to File and select Export, and then choose Text Plan. It should lead you to save a new file in the text format. OCR works better for more text-based data. If your data contains more unreadable characters, you may get a text file with more blank. After you click Save, the file should open in the text edit on a Mac computer. If you are using a PC, you can open it by Notepad++. Please make sure to look at your text to check if everything was converted correctly, because sometimes some characters may not be recognized during the conversion process. If there are some unrecognizable characters, you will need to manually type those in. The other option is to use converting applications to manually convert data. First, you need to set up your application. If you are using a Mac, you should open a blank text edit document. When you open this application, go to Preferences and uncheck Smart Codes and Smart Dashes, just like this screenshot. This step will make sure your text file use standard ASCII characters. If you are using a PC, all you need to do is to open a blank text file by opening Notepad++. Now you are ready for the next step. 
Once you have opened Notepad++ or Text Edit, the next step is to copy and paste the original file contents to the application. It will be easier to do this paragraph by paragraph rather than selecting the whole text. After copying, make sure to check your text to see if everything was copied and pasted correctly. Once you have the text contents in the text format, you can add menu annotations to multimedia, such as pictures, videos, and hyperlinks. You can use angled brackets for annotations. This screenshot shows an example of picture annotation. It is important to consistently use angled brackets so that you can exclude them from other computational processes, such as searches within a concordancing program or taggers and parses. Make sure to leave space around the angle brackets. Similarly, if you would like to annotate videos, you can tap video from external source in angle brackets. Your annotations should be generic or specific as you wish them to be. In developing our crop corpus, we often see portfolios that contain links to specific major projects that students have written before. For example, if the student has written a major project called literacy narrative and included a link to the previous literacy narrative in the current test, we can annotate it by using link to literacy narrative in angle brackets, just like this screenshot. After menu conversion, you can save it with a file name using the file naming convention that you have established for your corpus. We hope this video has been helpful for expanding this step of the corpus building process. The next step will be prepare metadata. We hope you check our video on that step as well.